Hi, I just wanted to share a few things that are common to the United States and that a lot of us are unaware of. I believe there's a tsunami coming and not in the distant future that is going to affect the East Coast. And I say this because I'm making a quick summary of what I've seen in my dreams, what God has shown me through dreams since 2017. I've had many dreams related to tsunamis. These are not like your normal tsunamis that we see on the news. These are biblical proportion tsunamis, taller than buildings, just really big tsunamis that would just destroy cities. And the tsunamis that are coming are so big that the water will go inland. So I've dreamt with Florida getting hit specifically a community called Surfside, Florida. Now, a tsunami of this magnitude, it will destroy that city and the water will flood to the roof of the homes that high. Now, I've also dreamt with New York being flooded. I see buildings popping out of the water where the water level is so high, it's about halfway those buildings. Everything gets flooded. So I believe that that is going to happen anytime soon and not in the distant future. Moreover, God is, keeps leading me to Revelation 8, 11, which is a star called Wormwood. And according to John, if we go to uh, Revelation 8, 8, he is describing this mountain that he's seeing that is, lit on fire, so it seems like it could be what we call an asteroid, but from what I've seen in my dreams, I have yet to see an asteroid hit in the water, so I cannot confirm that yet, but I do see this massive wave coming and hitting the East Coast. Now, I've seen through my dreams that there's going to be an invasion that is from Russia. Russia will be involved. I've seen military camps where people are held. I see armed men just walking and watching the people that are in these camps. I've seen guillotines, people waiting in line to be decapitated. This may sound very graphic and hard to take, but I'm just revealing what I've seen through my dreams. I've also seen the city of New York I've seen buildings, the city destroyed, meaning there's there's still buildings standing, but they're in very bad shape. I see a lot of smoke coming from their windows, like they've been hit by missiles or something very big. I've also dreamt with warplanes, shooting bombs, and the most recent that really shocked me in a way of was of two nuclear bombs going off in Florida. In the dream, I'm driving on Interstate 4, and I'm heading towards Tampa to the west. And that's where I see in the horizon this reddish-orange mushroom cloud. So I make a U-turn, start heading east towards, I would say, downtown Orlando, Sanford, and that area. I see, again, another mushroom cloud going off. So I've been seeing that. So that's a second event that is coming. There's going to be... Food shortage, water shortage, I've dreamt with people even killing the innocent, the most innocent, which would be the children. So I think we're going to have to be prepared spiritually with a full armor to endure what is about to take place. And the third thing, there's going to be a dark day. And God is leading me to Revelation 8, 12. Now, it talks about the third part of sun being darkened and the third part of the moon and I believe it's leading me there because of the dark day and the dreams that I've been having recently. The latest one I had a few days ago where I'm suspended in space, I'm looking at the earth, at the globe of the earth, it's very dark yet it's visible. I can see the world and the third part of it is covered going from north to south meaning from the North Pole to about halfway the United States, is covered with a dark matter. 
So only the third part of the world is covered by this dark matter. And I focused in the dream on the United States because that's where I live. So that's the first place I went and looked. And the United States was covered about halfway by this dark matter. So I just wanted to share that with you and make a small summary of the things that God has been putting in my heart to share for people to hear and take warning of what is about to take place in the country and in the world. God bless.